he's not perfect, but neither are you. And the two of you will never be perfect. But if he can make you laugh at least once, causes you to think twice, and if he admits to being human and making mistakes, hold on to him and give him the most you can. He isn't going to quote poetry. He's not thinking about you of every moment of every day, but he will give you a part of him that he knows that you could break. Don't hurt him, don't change him, and don't expect more from him than he can give. Smile when he makes you happy, yell when he makes you mad, and miss him when he's not there. Love hard, where there is love to be had. Because perfect guys don't exist, but there's always the guy who is perfect for you. For those who don't know us, we are, that's Jim, I'm Will. We're the best men, reserved best men, let's say. Yeah. Cheers, Tom. <laughs> Cheers, Tom. Hello. Cheers, Tom. Cheers, yeah. We weren't number one, but we we're stepped up to the mark. All right, <laughs> we're here, Tom. I'd just like to say thank you for everyone coming today. It's been a magical day. The weather's been amazing. I mean, they look amazing. Wallace, you look brilliant today. Um, I'd just like to say that, yeah. So you just missed a bit, like. Okay, carry on. You gotta say, you got Wallace, you look amazing, and Tom, you look really good as well. Well, he looks alright. He looks alright. <laughs> right, right. I didn't want to say, but he looks alright. Sorry. Yeah, he's got quite um, trained us, Tom. <laughs> After all these years, me and Will, we've stood down there and we've watched you get married. And that's just absolutely incredible to me. Emotions? Like, yeah, I, I, yeah. I he cool. cried. I cried. He cried. Yeah. Come on, sorry. He weeps. What a mess. But like, it's just, we're, we're 26. You've watched me become a father. I've watched you get married. I just think it's, it's beautiful. It is amazing. So, you know, all the jokes aside, I just think, you know, I have to say, it is, it is a, absolutely yeah. amazing thing. We've and, you know, haven't we? Yeah. yeah. It's and there's many years to come, you know. Yeah. I'd like to start by saying this has been the best day of my life. Um, and that's thanks to all of you, but especially you, Wallace. I love you and you make me happy every single day. I'm so happy you're here and that you chose me as the man to share the moment with. Uh, the world is a better place because you exist. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, could I ask you to stand for the arrival of the bridal party? So Tom and Wallace welcome you here today to the Woodland Glade at Chaucer Barn on the very happy occasion of their marriage and I'm sure it means a great deal to them that you are here with them to share in their happiness and celebrate with them the beginning of their married life together. So this place in which we are now met has been duly sanctioned according to law for the celebration of marriages. So you are all here today to witness the marriage of Thomas Brian Garfield Springall and Wallace Emily Cannon. So Tom and Wallace, before you are joined in marriage, I should remind you both of the solemn and the binding nature of the vows you're about to make. And marriage in this country means the union of two people voluntarily into, entered into for life to the exclusion of all others. And marriage is a promise of hope between two people who love each other, to share their love and their friendship, and to offer help and comfort in times of joy, but also in times of sadness. So Tom, I'm going to start with you, if you could repeat these words after me. I declare that I know. I declare that I know. Of no legal reason. Of no legal reason. Why I, Thomas Brian Garfield Springall. Of why I, Thomas Brian Garfield Springall may not be joined in marriage may not be joined in marriage to Wallace Emily Cannon to Wallace Emily Cannon now Wallace I declare that I know I declare that I know of no legal reason of no legal reason why I Wallace Emily Cannon why I Wallace Emily Cannon may not be joined in marriage may not be joined in marriage <laughs> to Thomas Brian Garfield Springle. To Thomas Brian Garfield Springle. <laughs> Perfect, well done. I call upon these persons here present. I call upon these persons here present. To witness. To witness. That I, Thomas Brian Garfield Springle. 
the I, Thomas, Brian, Garfield, Springle. Do take thee. Do take these. Wallace Emily Cannon. Wallace Emily Cannon. To be my lawful wedded wife. To be my lawful wedded wife. Perfect. And Wallace. I call upon these persons here present. I call upon these persons here present. To witness. To witness. That I, Wallace Emily Cannon. Sorry. <laughs> that I, Wallace Emily Cannon. Do take thee. Do take thee. Thomas Brian Garfield Springle. Thomas Brian Garfield Springle. To be my lawful wedded husband. To be my lawful wedded husband. Oh, that's perfect. We now come to your third promise or third statement. And this is really about being nice to each other and there is only one answer. So Thomas Brian Garfield Springle, having taken Wallace Emily Cannon to be your wife, do you promise to be loving, caring, and loyal to her for the rest of your life together? I will. I do. I do. I do. That's that, that's that bit. I do. <laughs> <laughs> and Wallace, Wallace Emily Cannon, having taken Thomas Brian Garfield Springle to be your husband, do you also promise to be loving, caring, and loyal to him for the rest of your lives together? Okay. Yes, I'll marry you, my dear. And here's the reason why. So you can push me out the bed when the baby starts to cry. And if we hear a knocking when it's creepy and it's late, you'll hand me the torch and I'll investigate. Yes, I'll marry you, my dear. You, know, you may not appreciate it, but when the tumble dryer breaks down, it's me that will mend it. I'll have to face the neighbours should the Labradors attack, and if a drunkard fondles you, I'll give him a, I'll give him a good whack. Yes, I'll marry you, my dear. I'm virile and I'm lean, ish. <laughs> our, ha our house might be a bit of a mess, but I'll give you a hand to clean it. That sexy little dinner I'll serve by candlelight. I'll do the chipolatas. We can cook it every night. It's me that has to work the drill. And, and put up curtain track and when you've got PMT it's me or take the flak. <laughs> I do see great advantages but maybe not for me but a reflection I think you might do so let's crack on before it's too late and say I do I do I do. So Tom and Wallace have chosen to demonstrate their commitment to each other by the giving and receiving of wedding rings. And a wedding ring is a symbol of the everlasting circle of love, truth and unity in which your two lives are now joined together. So Wallace, I promise to do my best. Wallace, I promise to do my best. To understand you as you are. To understand you as you are. Loving what I know of you. Loving what I know of you and trusting what changes the future will bring. And trusting what changes the future will bring. I promise to stay with you for always. I promise to stay with you for always. Through the good times and the difficult times. The good, through the good times and the difficult times. That life may hold. That life may hold. And to treasure you for the rest of our lives. And to treasure you for the rest of our lives. Lovely, now will that go on? Tom, I promise to do my best. Tom, I promise to do my best. To understand you as you are. To understand you as you are. Loving what I know of you. Loving what I know of you. And trusting what changes the future will bring. And trusting what changes the future may bring. I promise to stay with you for always. I promise to stay with you for always. Through the good times and the difficult times. Through the good times and the difficult times. That life may hold. That life may hold. And to treasure you for the rest of our lives. And to treasure you for the rest of our lives. And may these rings always remind you both of the promises you have made to each other here today. Today will be a milestone in your lives which you can look back on with happiness and with pride. And from this day, may the ordinary things you share become special and the special things truly great. Cherish your love for one another and enhance the potential you have as individuals, but now after today, also as a couple and look to the future with a commitment that grows deeper and stronger as the years pass. So Tom and Wallace, you have both made the declarations that are prescribed by law and you have formed a solemn and binding contract with each other in the presence of your guests and your witnesses here today. So I'm delighted to declare that you are now husband and wife and totally legally married. So congratulations and you may kiss your bride.
and it gives me great pleasure for the very first time in public to introduce you to Mr. and Mrs. Springle. So, I'd just like to say how we both met Tom. So I've known Tom for probably about 15, 20 years, long time. We've been to school together. I'm actually such a good mate with Tom. You know, we've done everything together, been on holiday together, played sport together. I'm actually such a good mate with Tom that we went on holiday, he dislocated his shoulder in the swimming pool. Amazing. And I went to hospital with him. No, you did. That's Elliot. Elliot went. <laughs> but Elliot, Elliot did not you. <laughs> did I not? No, you, you stayed at the pool. Oh, who went? You, you stayed at the pool. Elliot went. Oh, that, ging that ginger oh. ball. I'll sub you out, mate. Come on. <laughs> hey. Elliot, come, come on. on. <laughs> come on, bro. Oh. Yeah, so, me and Tom have been uh, friends for many years. I didn't really like him in school. I thought it was a bit, bit of a twat, to be honest with you. Um, no offence, no offence. But um, it all started when uh, he crashed into a bush. And, in his uh, car, yeah. I was in, the, in his car, yeah, not like... Not, yeah. not just walk. <laughs> not just walk. Not just walk. And uh, to be fair, I, I pulled him out and I stayed with him. And uh, yes, yeah, it's, it's blossomed since then, isn't it, Tom? And uh, that's a word for it, Will. That's a word. That's, that's, that's a word, yeah. And uh, yeah, so we've been in many adventures, you know, mountain biking, kayaking, all, all sort of adventurous stuff. And um, me and Tom, as you know, we've known each other for a long time. Um, I, sometimes me and Tom go for months without talking to each other. But I can always rely on you, you know, to ring me up if your car's broken down or. Um, <laughs> Oh, that's a classic. Yeah, that's a classic, yeah. 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 So, um, yeah, on a serious note now, the the bride, the groom, we're so we're honestly so happy for you. You couldn't find a better partnership. Beautiful partner, It's, it's yeah. brilliant, yeah. honestly. I mean, Wallace... Oh, it's not sarcasm, come on. <laughs> that's not a joke. Wallace, you look amazing today. Yeah. Thank you, the bridesmaids, you look brilliant. It's been an amazing day. The weather's been brilliant. Beautiful. It's just, I couldn't, honestly... When you said you're getting married, I didn't think anything like this. It's just been fantastic. So we really, really appreciate you guys, you know, including me and Will, yeah. in our in your day. Yeah, thank you. Your family, Joe, Johnny, for keeping me and Will in the family. You know, we felt that way for many years. We we love you lots. Yeah. This. Yeah. Thank it's you. It's amazing. Much. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. Um, so, uh, yeah. I'd just like to raise a toast. Yeah, raise a toast to, uh, to uh, Tom and Wallace. Mrs. and Mrs. Springle. Yeah. Cheers. Yeah, cheers. 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 Woohoo. <laughs> Well, how do I follow that? Quite easily. Um, before we start, I just want to thank everyone for coming. Now, in typical fashion, as my parents and those I went to school and college with will attest to, I left my homework to the last minute. However, I stuck with my tried and tested method of... Uh, <laughs> I stuck with the tried and tested method of Google a template, fill in the gaps, and that'll see me right again. Um, so, we'll try it. There's a few people I'd like to thank to begin with, uh, which is Amanda and Bob, uh, you've raised a beautiful, wonderful woman in Wallace. She's the most kind, funny, clever, caring person I've ever met. Um, but I'll leave it to you two to argue over who she got each of those traits from. <laughs> I won't be involved in making that decision. That's for you two. <laughs> <laughs> Wallace's bridesmaids, Beth, Lauren, Molly, Paige, there was just four of you, wasn't there? I didn't miss anyone out. <laughs> uh, 
you all look lovely and I want to thank you all for not only being here for Wallace but for being by Wallace's side through every up and down she ever encounters. Um, my best men, uh, leave blank and fill in depending on what they say. <laughs> Did anyone get the impression I might know what was going to happen? <laughs> You're my best mates, all of you boys over there, you know who all of you are. You're all my best mates and I want to thank you for being here and helping and being involved. You're amazing. Mum and Dad and extending that out to Grandma, Pauling, the girls who are doing the drinks and the food and stuff, everyone that has helped put today together from three years ago. I want to say thank you. It's been perfect. It's been amazing. I think we both think it's been probably the most relaxing wedding that anyone's been to. <laughs> that means you did your job right. <laughs> but mum and dad, specifically, you've advised me and us every step of the way when we needed you and we're both so grateful. You've also made me the person that I am and I hope I've made you proud. Now, Wallace, I love you, I'm proud of you. I hope you have an amazing day or have had an amazing day uh, that is as wonderful and amazing as what you are. I cannot wait to spend the rest of my life with you. You complete me and you have made me a better person every day that I've been able to be by your side. So can we just raise a glass, not only to everyone for the thanks, but also to Wallace. Started, we barely had enough to get by, but we always got by. When it got hard and pushing came to shove, you were always standing by my side. Birds that fly high, or fish beneath the sea, they live in blue skies and waters down deep. It's all that I've known and everything I need, but it took some Now, the next bit is slightly less traditional. Um, well, come here, <laughs> please. Do I know about this? Yeah. I do. Well, no, you don't. You know, you don't know about this. Oh, okay. What's gonna say? You've known for a while that I got you a gift for our wedding. Yeah. Um, mainly because after Christmas, Valentine's Day, and an anniversary this year, to be followed by a wedding. I needed something to get out of getting you a birthday present and it seemed to fit the bill quite well, so we did it. <laughs> um, so the next bit is a bit ad lib, um, depending on reactions. Uh, so <laughs> I might have to run now. Yeah, I might have to run, but I hope not. Um, I have a gift for you that you need to... Now, just take the top bit out. It's a bum bag, and it will be apparent why later. It's a fanny pack. It is a fanny pack, yes. Um, <laughs> uh, the most important bit is the envelope on the inside. Okay. <laughs> 
<laughs> I just snorted. <laughs> so, I've been palming Wallace off for about f four months that we were going to book a honeymoon last minute tomorrow to go this week. In the background, me, her mum, mum and dad, lots of us have been plotting behind her back, um, <laughs> including her boss who has signed her off for some extra time off of work. <laughs> well, what does it say? <laughs> Shout it. Get ready, you're going to Universal Orlando Resort. <laughs> and to save, to save while trying to shout it, uh, we go on Tuesday. <laughs> Um, we've sorted it out with work. Okay. We've sorted out... <laughs> well, I hope so, unless he's changed his mind, but... <laughs> um, we get the train on Tuesday morning, we go for 10 days. Wow. And um, we have a hire car, we have tickets, we oh, have yeah, everything. Days. Yeah, I'm glad we'd have it. <laughs> 10 days. <laughs> yeah. um, so, a lot of you know, but not everyone, we were actually meant to go to Florida in 20... 20? 2020, uh, for Wallace's birthday, and that was where I was going to propose. The C word happened two weeks before we were meant to fly, um, so we got engaged in our living room with the Universal logo on the TV. Um, but we wanted to make sure that we could do it properly. No. Oh.